In this video, we will look at a simple way to make a UI that appears smooth. There are pre-made UI elements for examples. There is a button on the top left of the screen to turn the main menu on and off. And this button is directly connected to the script and uses a method called show close menu main. The main menu UI game object is registered in the public variable of the script. The main menu has an opaque image covering the entire screen to prevent the button's interaction. And I am using the stretch option so that it automatically resizes to fit the screen resolution and ratio. See how each of the other UI elements are set up. The close button that closes the main menu also uses the same method of the script. As explained earlier, this public game object variable has the main menu UI registered. When the game starts, disable the main menu if it is active. This method is executed when the button is pressed. Similarly, if the main menu is activated, it is deactivated, and vice versa. Let's play the game and see how it works. You can see commands by the code perform well. However, since the UI is simply activated and deactivated, smooth rendering is required. Now, let's see how you can create smooth transitions for your UI with minimal code usage. First, let's add a canvas group component to the main menu. You can now control the alpha channel of all images in the main menu through the canvas group. Next, let's add the animator component. Let's create an animator element and add it to the component. After confirming that main menu is selected, let's open the animation tab. There is an animator, but it doesn't do anything because there is no animation. Let's create an animation by clicking the create button. We are going to make an animation that makes the UI fade in, so we will make the name similar to that. After clicking the Add Property button, I will add Canvas Group and Alpha. The default duration of an animation is 1 second. The 1 second playback time feels too slow, so let's change it to 0.3 seconds. At the point of 0 seconds, let's change Alpha to 0. Go back to the Animator tab and check if the animation you are working on is set as the default animation. Finally, let's turn off Loop Time in the Animation option. Otherwise this animation will repeat over and over again. Let's play and check. You can see the UI appear smoothly. Next time, we will create a function that makes the UI disappear smoothly. Thank you. See you next time.